Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to The Blind Life. Today we're going to be talking about the different ways to do text-to-speech. <clears throat> it, it was going so well. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to The Blind Life. Today we're going to be talking about the different ways to do text-to-speech on iPhones and iPads. Now, before we get started, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. My name is Sam and I make videos weekly on assistive technology, living life with vision impairment, tips and tricks, how-to videos, all types of things like that. So if you find that interesting, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button and turning on notifications. And also on that topic, I discovered that about 75% of the people watching my videos are not subscribed to my channel. So definitely consider subscribing. It just takes a second. Click the red subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything and it only helps out my channel. So I would appreciate that. And then also, we gotta talk about this right here. <laughs> I have my pinky on my right hand heavily bandaged up because I sliced it open pretty badly last night. And yes, so that is what is up with this. I apologize, I know it's not fun to look at something like this, but the videos have to get made, right? <laughs> the show must go on. So we are just doing our best and we will <laughs> pretend like it's not even there, right? That's what I'm doing. Okay, with that being said, let's jump into the video. So as I said, today we're gonna to take a look at the different options for text-to-speech on iOS devices, and uh, which is iPhones and iPads and iPod Touches, if anybody still uses those. But I'm gonna talk about the four options that we have. Okay, so I'm gonna be demonstrating this on my iPhone. This is an iPhone 10 Plus, but it, that shouldn't matter. One thing to note though is that they recently changed the way the, the layout for the settings and where accessibility is in the settings. The way mine is set up may be different than yours if you're running an older version of iOS, but you should be able to follow along relatively well regardless. Okay, first things first, we need to go to accessibility, and then our first option is voiceover. And that's what I'm using here. So voiceover will read everything, everything on the screen. You can do a two finger swipe down to read from the top to the bottom, everything on the screen, or you can touch on individual elements and it will read that out loud. But while voiceover is enabled, it's on all the time. And it's right there in the main, in the root of the accessibility folder, voiceover, you can turn that on and off. I've got videos talking about voiceover, We've got a whole series called voiceover 101, but we're gonna continue on down. Zoom, magnify, display, motion, spoken content, button. And we're gonna to go to spoken content. This is where the other text-to-speech options are located right now anyway. And I'm gonna leave voiceover on just for right now so you guys can hear as well as see what the options are. Speak selection, off. So our first one is speak selection. And it has a little description about what that is. A speak button will appear when you select text. So what this is, is when you select a section of text, when you long press and then select the text, highlight the text, you normally get like copy, paste, share, that sort of thing. But now a speak option will appear also. And if you click that, then it will read out loud the items that you have selected or highlighted. Speak selection, off, on. I'll go ahead and turn that on and then I'll do a demo here in a second. A speak button will appear, speak screen. On. Speak screen is the next one. Slide down with two fingers from the top of the screen to hear the content of the screen. So this is the same gesture that is in voiceover where if you swipe down from the top with two fingers, it will read what's on the screen. It works exactly the same way. It reads top to bottom, just whatever's on the screen. Once you turn on, once you enable speak screen, then you get another option pop up down here. Swipe down, speech controller, off. Button. Speech controller. Let's go in there and check out what that is. Show controller, off. The speech controller allows quick access to speak screen and speak on touch. Fuller to expand the controller and press play to start reading all content. Fuller to expand the controller and tap on the finger icon to start speak on touch. Then, tap or drag anywhere on the screen to hear the content under your finger. Lift your finger to exit speak on touch. So the speak controller puts this little semi-transparent floating icon on your screen 
and you can move that icon around wherever you want to and that just gives you quick access to speak screen and speak on touch speak on touch is our fourth option and this is one that a lot of people might want to use speak on touch will just read out whatever element you are touching so for example if you're in facebook and you just want to read someone's post you don't care about all the other stuff on the screen you can click that and then touch the post and it will just read the post out loud and this is also beneficial because this will read non-selectable text for example a text message i can select that long press and highlight that text message and then i will get the little speak option and then I click that, it will read it out loud. But there's some text out there that's not selectable. A perfect example is on Facebook. Some of that text, I can't highlight it. If I try to long press it, it's gonna give me options like to reply or like or hide the post. You know, I can't select it and then copy and paste, that sort of thing. So my only option, if I only wanna hear that specific section of text is to do the speak on touch here. Now, it may be difficult to see, it's, it's difficult for me to see without magnification, but my little icon is floating up here in the top left. Let me pull it down here. So I'm moving it around. I'm gonna put it down in the bottom left corner, just above the phone. So if I tap that now, this little window pops out and I've got the speak on touch. It's got a little hand symbol there. First, I'm gonna demonstrate the speak selection option. So I'm just in an email here and I'm just going to long press a certain section of text here and drag it down, get a whole, the whole section here. And my little context menu here pops up with copy paste, things like that. But now we have speak. So if I click on speak. Plan projects with Dropbox paper timelines. It just reads that selection. The other one is the two finger swipe down. We have that turned on as well. So if I take two fingers and I swipe from the very top down. Timelines and Dropbox paper, labels, inbox, from Dropbox, 11, 16 a.m. to me. Plan projects with Dropbox paper timelines, easily create. It reads everything from top to bottom. So if you've got a long email, this might be a good option for you. And you see the little control window pops open and I can pause, I can play, I can fast forward, that sort of thing. Now, of course, voiceover, you guys know how that works. Once again, it will read everything. It will, I can select certain sections. It's kind of like the all encompassing. It will do all of this. But as I said, that might be overkill for some users. So some of these other ones might work better. Finally, let's take a look at the touch reading. So I'm gonna pop open my little window here and I'm going to click on the hand. And now, wherever I touch, it's gonna to read that section. Easily create clean charts showing what's happening when and who's responsible for what. There you go, if I do it again here, let's get the one right above that. Plan projects with Dropbox paper timelines. It reads that section. And it reads it very quickly, it reads it um, perfectly, no problems. So that might be a good option for a lot of users. The only drawback is you've got this little semi-transparent window thing floating over top of everything all the time. That's the only drawback and it can get in the way of certain things. If it's floating right above a button that you go to press, you're gonna open the window instead of pressing the button. Okay, so that was a look at the four different speech to text screen reader options we have on iOS at this time. Thank you very much guys. If you have any questions, any more questions, I should mention that this, the video topic was inspired by a question I had from a viewer. Thank you very much for that. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll do my best to help out there. You can also send me an email, theblindlifesam at gmail.com. If you like the video, be sure to hit the like button. And if you're watching this video, please subscribe to the channel. As I said, I put out videos every single week on assistive technology and living life with vision impairment. Okay guys, well thank you very much. As always, this is Sam with The Blind Life. I'll see you next time.